All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jack Hang. I'm VP of Product Business Development at Sci5. For those of you who don't know Sci5, Sci5 was founded by uh, the inventors of RISC V, and it's kind of amazing for us to, to see uh, all the progress uh, that's been going on. So today I want to talk to you about uh, our Freedom U500. It's a Linux-capable 1.5 gigahertz quad-core RV64 GC uh, SOC. So I think we are all part of what we like to call the RISC V revolution. And it's a revolution because this is something that's much bigger than just us in the room. It's something that's going to change the industry. Um, we have a lot of people, a lot of interest, and it just, it just keeps building. So I think we're all part of something very, very special, something very, very unique. And RISC-V has very, very lofty goals. Right? It's designed for all levels of compute. So we're taking on microcontrollers. We're taking on application processors. We're taking on network processors. We're taking on supercomputers. So how do we get there? And it came from very humble beginnings, right? The RISC-V Foundation, it was, RISC-V was an academic project. It became a nonprofit foundation, you know, just two years ago. 16 member companies, one-sixth, right? Now we're over 100, member, 100 plus members. We have commercial chips. We have commercial companies. We have IPs. You know, a year ago uh, at the last fifth workshop, uh, I was up here and I announced the first commercial RISC-V chip. And we had a development board at that time called the HiFi-1. Uh, that chip is what's powering uh, these badges, the electronic badges that some of you've had. Uh, so I want to just kind of report back on the progress that RISC-V has made. If you know the attendance of the 500 people here is not enough to tell you what's going on. Uh, since we announced that chip last year and that board, we've sold that board to over 50 different countries. So over 50 different countries in the world are working on RISC-V. All right, this is much bigger than just us in this room. This is a revolution. So at Sci-5, we're continuing to drive commercial development. Last year, we announced our microcontroller. Everybody asked, but what about Linux? What about Linux? Where's the Linux chip? So what's next? What's next is our Linux chip. All right, the Freedom Unleashed 500. 250 plus million transistors. This is in TSMC 28 nanometers. It's a high performance multi-core system. I'll share much more details about it. It features our U54 MC core complex, supports the latest RISC-V specifications, and we intend to use this to drive software development, to drive RISC-V software development for the entire ecosystem. So a little more details here on the chip, you'll see on the left, it features our core complex. There's actually five cores in here, running at 1.5 gigahertz plus. There's four U54 cores. Uh, U for us uh, are our cores that support uh, machine supervisor and user mode, which means it can support full-featured operating systems like Unix, like Linux, like FreeBSD. Um, each of the U54 cores has a 32K L1, 32K uh, L1 instruction and data. Fifth core is an E51. This is a 64-bit embedded core. Uh, all five cores together are in a coherent system with a 2 megabyte L2. Right. Mentioned earlier, it's a TSMC 28 nanometer part uh, in a flip chip BGA package. Uh, the development board will be available in Q1 of 18, so just a few months from now. And I'm going to share more details about the board. So what are we doing with the platform? So on the left-hand side here, uh, you'll see our Freedom H500 block diagram. I already mentioned the core complex, the four U54 cores, the one E51 core, uh, in addition uh, to the L2. Um, outside, there's multiple peripherals intended for software development. Um, so first, there's a high-speed DDR4. Runs at 2400, so full-speed DDR memory for all your software development. In terms of peripherals, we have what we call the, I guess, low-speed peripherals, SPI, I2C, UART, GPIOs. Uh, there's also a gigabit Ethernet. Um, and then there's an interface we call ChipLink. ChipLink is a serialized version of TileLink. TileLink is a very important thing for us. TileLink is an open specification with an open source implementation bus protocol. Just like how RISC-V is an open specification, we believe it's also very important for there to be an open bus specification. So we have a talk tomorrow uh, Wes is going to give a talk that goes through the details of TileLink. ChipLink is a serialized version of TileLink. Uh, we use it to go off the 
Freedom Unleashed 500 to FPGAs or other devices. Now here I show an FPGA, the point, purpose here is we can put in different types of IP blocks in the FPGA for software development, or we can use it to expand out uh, to other components, which we'll show you. A little bit more details about the cores that are in, that's in this chip. So uh, inside, I mentioned we call it the U54MC, so the multi-core U54. Um, each of the U54 cores is a RV64GC, uh, so that's I-M-F-A-D. Uh, this is the standard extension for Linux development. All right, hardware multi-divide, atomic constructions, 16-bit compressed, along with a single and double precision floating point. Supports all three privilege modes. We added the E51 minion core, uh, which supports the MNU privilege mode. It can be used for boot up, it can be used for security, it can be used for uh, offloading functions. Uh, we also announced this U54MC uh, as a licensable IP core about a month ago. Right. This is its implementation uh, in silicon. Uh, specifications of the core complex in 28, this is our silicon data. Pre, before we actually get silicon back, this is the data that went out along with the GDS. The typical 1.5 gigahertz, fast, fast, slow, slow. You'll we'll see the data there. This is all with standard cells, standard memories. Um, so if you have custom implement implementations uh, or do uh, other type of performance tricks, you can get better performance. This is just very vanilla uh, standard cell implementation. Uh, in terms of area, uh, very competitive compared to uh, other 64-bit cores, you'll see there. Uh, Performance-wise, 1.7 DMIPS, uh, 2.75 core mark per core. All right, so I mentioned the development board that's gonna be available in Q1. Uh, we call it the High 5 Unleashed. All right, so last year, the micro, microcontroller board was called the High 5 One. This is the High 5 Unleashed. So what's on this board? So on this board, it's the Freedom Unleashed, the U500. Uh, a cross-chip link, it connects to a MicroSemi Polarfire FPGA. We're very happy to partner with MicroSemi on this board. We're both leaders in the RISC-V ecosystem. Um, because we're connected to an FPGA, FPGA supports USB, uh, HDMI. We also have PCIe coming off. We connect it to a PCIe switch, and you get additional peripherals. So more PCIe slots, uh, M.2 form factors, uh, PCIe to SATA. You also have GigE, Spy Flash, SD card, DDR4. So with this, you can build a full computer, really. You can build a full system. You can also put in your own IP peripherals into the FPGA. All right. Comes with our Software Freedom SDK, Software Development Kit, and as I mentioned before, it'll be available in Q1. All right. uh, I think the robust ecosystem developing for RISC-V tools uh, is something that is readily apparent here at this workshop. The number of talks and the number of companies that we have talking about their tools and their support for RISC-V is just tremendous. Um, so uh, I won't belabor that. We will always support our free open source tools we call Freedom Studios. It's available from Sci-Fi website. It's the Eclipse-based IDE that you can use uh, with any of the Sci-Fi products and other RISC-V products as well. Uh, but in addition to that, I think we're starting to see a lot of commercial debug commercial tools. As I think later today and also tonight, at the reception and poster, you'll see a lot of these demos. So we're very happy to see companies like Lauterbach, companies like Seger, all announce support for RISC-V, specifically uh, with it tested with the Sci-5 cores. Right. So finally, I want to announce uh, our early access program for the High 5 Unleashed boards. All right, so we actually have a program today uh, for open source developers, for people who want to develop open source software on RISC-V, who want to develop Linux, uh, want to develop FreeBSD, want to develop whatever it is, uh, we have an early access program. So today, if you're part of the early access program, we actually give you FPGA-based prototypes, and we'll be replacing those FPGA-based prototypes with the High 5 Unleashed boards. All right, this is the, the fastest way to get a High 5 Unleashed board. Um, now, it is an early access program, which means we will be giving these boards out to these developers sooner than the general availability. So there will be some ASIC bring up headaches, right? Linux is upstream, but not all the drivers are there, right? There's not all the distribution support is there. Uh, so the early access programs for people who want to work around these issues, all right? So if you want to sign up, beta program is uh, 
spooling up. We have more and more people signing up. Uh, the best way to do it is to email us, info at sci-fi.com. Let us know you want to sign up for this, and we'll get in touch with you uh, and get you aboard. All right? So with that, that's my last time. Thank you.